Here's a new video of me from February 1992, and this time I'm at my friend Jen's house. Today's date is February 16th. 16th, I got my license too. 16th, right. Despite the fact that I look about 14 in this video and act probably about 12, I was 17 and I had just gotten my license two days earlier. <laughs> oh yeah, all right, maybe. Who cares about that way? Oh, license, license. Is it in focus? I don't think so. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, oh, let's, let's focus. focus. Wait, I have a license, I have a license. <laughs> my turn, no. No, my turn, <laughs> my turn. Hey, shut up. Is it still on? Yeah. <laughs> As long as you said, is it on? Is it on? <laughs> is it on? Ready? Uh, <laughs> oh, on. I missed that jacket. I left it in the woods one day and never went back to get it. <laughs> Excuse me, Craig. This doesn't go with the song. Ow. This is such a great piano. More kids today should play with keyboards. There's not a lot of funny things I can say about this segment. It's just me basically acting like a huge dork. Forget Disney World, I was going to New Mexico! I thought I was so funny. That was a really lame joke we had back then, where we'd have something in our hand and we'd pretend not to know what it is until the last minute, like, oh, what's that weird piece of plastic in your hand? Oh, I don't know, I got it for Christmas. Oh my God, it's a yo-yo! It was supposed to be funny. It wasn't funny. Uh <laughs> <laughs> Such a camera hog. I was a jerk. Back in 1992, I was totally, utterly obsessed with this cheesy 80s horror movie called Sleepaway Camp. This movie right here. Wherever you go to find movies, find this movie, Sleepaway Camp. Not this version. This is a VHS, a, bro a now broken, broken VHS tape. Go on eBay or Amazon and buy this. It's the Sleepaway Camp box DVD set. Parts two and three are totally lame. It's really just part one that you want. Seriously, I was so obsessed with this movie that I used to make my friends recreate scenes from it in front of the video camera. So here's a clip of me, Jen, and Sue recreating a scene from Sleepaway Camp, followed by the actual scene from the movie Sleepaway Camp. Guess who? Uh, Ricky. Nope. Uh, Bert Reynolds. You're getting warmer. Uh, I give up. Surprise. Who are you? <laughs> Again, if you haven't already seen it, go out and buy it, rent it, order it, redbox it, Netflix it, whatever you have to do, Sleepaway Camp. And now for a word from our sponsor, another commercial parody. This one's about hand lotion. Works. 
So back in 1992, Pepsi had this annoying ad campaign where their slogan was Pepsi, gotta have it. And I don't remember my friends and I being that obsessed with this commercial, but apparently we were because we quoted it an awful lot in front of the camera. So here's a clip of the actual Pepsi gotta have it commercial, followed by a little montage of my friends and I quoting the Pepsi gotta have it commercial. Wild, young, thirsty, and free. If all these people gotta have it, why don't they just say Pepsi gotta have it? There it is. Just say Pepsi, gotta have it. <laughs> That's it. Gotta have it. <laughs> there it is. Pepsi, oh, wacky cool. Pepsi, gotta have it. I gotta have it. No, me! Me! Shut up. You give it to me. Come on. It was my first. <laughs> I gotta have it. Excuse me? Wanna go? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wild, young, thirsty, and free. That's Coke. I didn't have any Pepsi. And now it's time for another hilarious commercial parody. This one's for Trick Cereal. I just love tricks. Hi, Bobby. What are you eating for breakfast? Did you find anything special inside? I mean, Trix, what do you think I found inside? Orange, lemon, and chai flavored puffs. Now, Bobby, is that what you think that's what's inside of it? Now, if you, sure, what else? If you read the ingredients, it states clearly. Contains the following corn meat, fish guts, animal byproducts, chicken liver, and some traces of frog mucus. Oh, now really, Mom. Now, Bobby, why do you think they call it tricks? You'll never know what you'll find. <laughs> Back then, the Wayne's World skit on Saturday Night Live was really, really popular, so we decided to do our own parody on it. And at the moment, we didn't have two guys, so we had to use Jen and Sue as two girls. So we made it a parody featuring two females, and we called it Babs World. Party with me at the Marina Yacht Club. Yeah, and Elvis is gonna fly out of my belly button. George Michael's gonna be there. <gasps> George Michael! We are Shut up, I'm both worthy, okay? Uh, yeah. You gonna blow Yeah, I'm gonna spew. Now listen up. Dress casual, because Tom Cruise is gonna be there too. Tom, Tom Cruise? No way! Way. Tom Cruise and George Michael, they're like butter. Butter? Butter. 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 Party! Hey. So, we gotta go. We gotta get ready for the party! Oh, 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 oh that wait, 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 what about the show? Who cares? Tom Cruise, George Michael, showing! <laughs> there really was no party. But I just wanted to steal the show. Hi. I'm gonna blow Tom's. <laughs> Swing, swing. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, you're still showing until the trick comes. You're not trying to find me. No, Tom Cruise. Oh, he's doing it. He's doing it. You're doing it. Tom Cruise and George Michael. We couldn't have picked two worse celebrities for that skit. If we did that video now, it would probably look something like this. Justin Bieber's gonna be there. Oh, and dress casual because Ryan Gosling's gonna be there too. Oh my God. Justin Bieber, I'm gonna lose my shit. He's like my bae. Ryan Gosling, oh my God, his hair is like totally on fleek. And now it's time to learn proper table etiquette with 1992, Greg and Sue. Now, Greg, shall we give these people who are watching the tape now a demonstration of, of etiquette? Yes. Always yeah. put your elbows on the table. Always. Leave money hanging around whenever possible, especially in restaurants. Eat your, eat your money. You always know whose hands they've been in. Killers, drug dealers, murderers. You know. Like, put it all over your plate and your friends. Ew. So it's hey. all disgusting. <laughs> well, here's eight more dollars and 50 cents. 
Well, that's great. Oh, he's so much quarters. Quarters could have been in a five-year-old grubby hands. You know, you, of course you want to get his disgusting diseases. Never, never, ever. I stress, never use utensils. I know. Oh my God. Discard napkins. <laughs> They're out of here. They have no use. <laughs> Don't drink them on your lap. Except if you want to make a cool paper airplane out of them. Oh, that's fun. Yeah, you can, they're, they're very useful, but what do you think oh. about invented sleeves? For? And I really have this party show that you could bring out all your money oh, and oh, sucker oh. you out of it. We're not getting Chinese food, we're going to eat leftovers in my fridge. Down there. <laughs> <laughs> and, and excuse me, dogs do not belong under the table. They belong at the table to eat with you. Mom and I call. When, when eating spaghetti, be sure. <laughs> when, to, when eating spaghetti. When eating spaghetti, be sure to use your hands or your face. When in doubt, pig out. I made forty-two fifty off this deal. You what? I made forty-two fifty off this deal. <laughs> this is not the proper way to do cheers. You dump it on the person's head. <laughs> it's more like cheers. <laughs> Disgusting black marks on it, so your hostess will feel quite obligated to wipe what? it off. Then she'll have extra work, and hey, that's what you're paying the hostess for to be here to make you look cool. Oh. And be sure to bring plenty of floss for after the meal. You don't want nasty spinach in between your teeth. And while, while your friend is talking, leave to make her feel bad. And grab the camera from the cameraman and leave Sue alone. Bye. I have no words to describe this clip, so I just set it to appropriate music. She drives like crazy. Here's a weird clip involving me, Sue, and Jen's brother sitting at a bus stop arguing over whose kid is better. My kid's gonna go to Harvard. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your kid's going to Harvard? Excuse me, my kid already went to Yale. Well, my kid's already been to a year at MIT. Well, mine is a movie star. Oh, brag about it. Okay. Mine can drive a car. Can't you, Julia? Oh, yeah, mine's been driving a oh, car, and he's a brain surgeon now. And then we start throwing our kids around. This? Oh, that's so cute. Oh, sweet. Not much. I get your buddy. You rich people think you can have anything. Oh, is this your pearl? Excuse me. Is this your pearl? Oh, oh, yeah. She's so cute. Oh, don't treat it like that. Oh, I shouldn't do this. Oh, she's so cute. Can you put your jacket on you? Oh, wait. Is she have green eyes? I always wanted to give her green eyes. My child won the Nobel Peace Prize, and he's a decorated war hero. Cabbage Patch Kids weren't even popular in 1992, so don't ask me why we feature them in almost every single video we do. So now we're at Christmas 1992, and me and my friends had a Christmas party, and we videotaped it, of course. When weren't we videotaping? We videotaped absolutely every moment of our lives, apparently. So in this clip, we're opening our presents, and I had told my friend John what I got my friend Jen, and I specifically told them not to get her the same thing. So Jen opens John's gift first, and I discover that he basically got her almost exactly the same thing. So I throw a huge temper tantrum, I stomp over to the Christmas tree, I grab my gift to Jen, I practically throw it at her, I yell at John, and then I walk over and aim the camera away from him as punishment. I included little subtitles so you know exactly what's going on, because for some reason we didn't turn on any lights, so the video's really dark. Gee, wonder what it is. I know. It's a sock. Oh, 
Oh my god! I, I wanted this. Really? I wanted to get Cindy Lauper True Colors, but I love this tape, and I didn't. <laughs> oh my god! I'm like, why is Cindy Lauper with the money for the newspaper? Who has seen that? Oh my god! I wanted this. Cindy <laughs> <Sydney> Lauper. <laughs> In case you're wondering what Jen got me that I was freaking out over, it was this Cindy Lauper CD. This exact one. It's a little beat up and cracked now, but it's the same one. I liked her newspaper skirt. That's a skirt made out of newspapers. So that's all for I Make Fun of My 1992 Self Part 4, and I think that's about it for 1992, but I have a whole bunch of videos from 1993 that I can also make fun of, so I'll be doing that next.